Okay, it's David again to talk about vintage trailers and how you go through them when you bring one home. So we've had videos on giving you an overview of the systems. We've gone in depth on what you go through with on the outside and the propane. Today I'm gonna to talk about the electrical. So this is a very basic trailer. It doesn't have all the electrical you might have in your trailer. It's a 1970 security, a 15 footer. Uh, but <clears throat> it uh, does have some components that I can show you. So I've got it plugged in outside. So what I wanna do is I come in and look at the, the um, uh, circuit box and the power box. And what I'll do, if it was unplugged, I would unscrew that and just check the wires inside. Um, I will, I'll do that later, but that, I just wanna check to make sure no wires are touching in there. And the fuse looks good. It's only got one 15 amp fuse, which means it doesn't have much that it's running. So I'm gonna find out what it runs. Well, I know it runs this light right here. And then it also has a plug right there. There's a plug right here. There's a plug over there. And it runs this light up underneath here, 110. So I'm just gonna check all those. Um, and then I have a couple of tools that I use. This is a, a socket tester, plug tester, okay? This is a just a power tester, so I can tell if there's power going. All you have to do is put it close to a power, a power cord and it'll tell you if it's working or not. And then I have my multimeter. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna check all my plugs. So what I'm looking for is two uh, solid lights right here. It has a thing right here that says, oh no, sorry, two right here. These two need to be uh, green or red. So, or orange. See, if you look, they're orange. The two on the right, the green ones on the right. So that plug's okay. Check the plugs underneath. Yep, two green, two lights there, two lights there. Okay, put it in one okay, more time. Okay, sorry. So see, there's no lights and plug it in and lights, two okay. orange lights there. So that means it's wired correctly. And I have had trailers wired wrong and um, sometimes you have to rewire them a little bit. I'm not an electrician, but that works fine, good. But sometimes you can figure these things out and two lights there. So all these plugs work. Let's look and see if there's one anywhere else. Sometimes there's one in the back. I don't think this one has it. All right, now let me switch over to this to use this. So I'm gonna turn it on and I can put this near any, any power cord. See, yep. See that power cord there, let me just, that power cord's working right there. Now, of course I know that it's working because the light's on, but if the light was not on um, and I turned it on, then I can use this to see if power is actually getting to the light or not. So I'm um, identifying and um, the, the, the issue. And then also if I don't have any power in here, then I can come and test right here and make sure power is getting to the box. If it is, then I know there's something in the box that's not working. So this allows you to just test um, things that aren't working or are, um, aren't working. Then you can touch this to the wires going to those things and see if there's power getting that far. And then you can troubleshoot the next step. This has been especially helpful for me on fridges, electric fridges because I can never tell if they're working. And what you can do is um, they're plugged in, you open the panel on the outside of the trailer and get into the back side of the fridge and you put this in here and you just test the different wiring and move this around to see how far your power is getting. Okay, okay. and you can test the socket there. Oops. Where can you get one of those? So these, I got these at Home Depot. It comes in a little kit. It's not much, like 15 bucks, but also Amazon. So it's a socket tester and this. And it came with a few other things. I'm trying to think what else. But then a multimeter. I always need a multimeter. So what this allows me to do is if, again, this is not working, let's say this wasn't working, but I was getting power there, I could take this off, turn this to volts right here, and then check and see if the power is getting to right there. If it isn't, then I just so keep troubleshooting. So how is this different than the little, than the little stick? So this is checking power and this is checking also power, but it's checking, you can, um, this only tells me in what general area there's power, kind of like a metal detector, oh, you know, okay. it says, hey, it's right here. This I can pinpoint, right? On the two, I can touch two wires and test if there's um, a power at a specific spot. So I can like, put it in here and you see I got, oops, I'm getting some power. I Does it matter around. which, you put them in the it black does or the red? um it does it'll tell you negative it'll say negative if it's the wrong one 
Okay, so I'm getting some power there. Oh, I need to do this. Okay, okay. So anyway, I was getting power on that plug, but I knew that already. So where I use this mostly is with the battery power, the 12 volt power in the trailer. Um, this trailer does not have a battery or battery power, but usually you have a battery that goes up to some like old lights up here, kind of like these. These are actually actual battery powered, but you'll usually have some battery lights up in here that come from your battery. So I check, I turn this on to volts, check my battery, see if it's 12 to 13 volts. If it's good and my lights up here don't work, then I'll pull the lights off, expose the wiring and touch these to the two wires and see if there's power getting to that light. And if you don't have power, then you got to figure out between that line and the line back at the battery, um, what's wrong. And if, if you do have power. If you do have power, the light's probably bad. That happens the a bulb. lot. The bulb. Bulb. The bulb's bad. Um, or just the, the, the light. light's bad. And that happens in these old ones. The bulb and the light go bad. And so we, when we change them out, I order the LED trailer lights off of Amazon. I think they're $15 each and they're really good. They're bright. They're easy to install and they just work really, really well. And they don't use as much power. So that's the electrical. Do I miss anything um, on electrical? Um, I don't know any more in depth on electrical, like if the heater thermostat's not working, I just am not, I, I'm not able to test that stuff. And so I take it to a, a trailer place. Okay, thanks. Have a great day.